Okay, so we have a Duke ice cream machine that they called me yesterday and said that all day the ice cream from this one barrel was coming out uh, with too high overrun. Let me explain what that means. This is a really simple thing. So there's a quality control aspect to uh, ice cream and it's done by weight. So they pull the ice cream, they fill a cup, uh, we level it out, we weigh it, and then it should weigh, you know, somewhere between 6.1 and 6.6 .6 ounces. Uh, if it weighs less than that, it means there is too much air in the mix, right? Uh, it's fluffy, it's marshmallowy. The opposite is uh, it actually becomes really shiny and doesn't stack up very well, as opposed to you can kind of see the difference between too wet, perfect, and too much air. So, let me uh, explain what to look for when trying to diagnose overrun problems. Okay, so how this system works is uh, this end goes into the milk. Right now I'm using sanitizer, okay? So milk connects to here. There's this little plastic uh, coupler that has an air inlet in it, okay? So this is where the unit actually draws its air into the barrel, and then it runs a hose around this pump, which I'm gonna take this cover off and you'll see. Uh, that pressurizes this, pumps it into the machine, and then it goes up and into the barrel. When we pull the knob, it comes out. Okay, so let me take this cover off and show you the next step. All right, before I take this cover off, I wanted to show you something. So, um, I have this set to clean so it's not gonna freeze inside the barrel. All right, so when you hit beater on, it's gonna turn on just the beater here. When you hit pump on, it's gonna turn on the pump. If, so I'm gonna pull this, right? And with the pump set to on, you can see this wheel spinning here. Uh, well, it's actually spinning this way, right? It's drawing in the milk and then up and then sending it to the system. When you stop the handle, the pump is running. The pump has a pressure sensor in the barrel and it knows when there's full pressure and then it's gonna automatically stop the pump and satisfy. So, there's enough pressure. So ways that air can get into the system is inside this collar, there's a little black bladder. So that has to be there. If that's not there, it's gonna suck air in. Um, and let me not skip the whole point here. If it sucks too much air in, then inside the barrel, the mix of air and milk is wrong. And when it churns it up, it infuses too much air into the system. And then you get that fluffy marshmallowy not good dairy queen ice cream so we have to figure out why there's too much air <clears throat> in the system okay so this is what the pump looks like um, the, they call them red line hoses because you have a red line on them um, so the only thing separating the high pressure side from the low pressure side of this hose is that it's pinched off at these wheels right so this swings down and then this pinches down and so now there's Remember, when that wheel spins this way, it basically creates a vacuum up, draws a little air in the appropriate amount, and then goes. You can change these tips if you need more or less air, but as off as they are, um, it's not a tip issue. Those tips make minor changes. So if there were a leak somewhere, you'd be thinking, well, I, it would be spraying. If this were not tight, if this were not tight, it's under pressure right now, it would be leaking. If there's a leak on the vacuum side somewhere, when the pump runs, it's going to drink its fluid, but it's also gonna be sneaking in milk, or uh, sneaking in air. And I've seen it happen at these little plastic things, and it's really hard to find. So I found uh, what I feel like is a great way to test if there's any leaks in the system, and then 
I'll show you that and we'll see what it reveals. Yep. All right. So what we do to test if there's a leak on the low pressure side that's sucking air in is we release, you know, this is the plug. This is holding the milk over here. We talked about that this has to be in here. So this comes out, if this hose doesn't get pinched properly, then the pressure when it stops, it flows backwards and it actually pops this out into the milk. But that doesn't allow for air to come backwards or to come in. So if we loosen this, the moment I take this off, this is gonna wanna leak because pressure is gonna come here and pressure is gonna come here. So I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna pull this off, okay? And I'm gonna kink this so that we're gonna try and hold that. This un unhooks, this is already leaking a little bit. All right, so when I push this up and unhook it, I want you to watch right here. You see that coming? You see all that spraying from right there? And I can get it. But, see? So that's coming up from those little cracks. So this plastic unit is cracked and that's why it's sucking in air. I'm gonna release this and we're gonna let the pressure out. Oh, I'm sorry. So the barrel's just emptying backwards right now. But now you know. You got a leak, you got a crack in this piece, we have to replace it, so. Okay, so the uh, new parts came in. The store actually replaced them because they tear these machines apart. And so once the machine, the part came in, they uh, put the new part on. We've had no more problems. The overrun is now proper. It's not bleeding in excess air from anywhere. So uh, I ordered enough and they just changed all of them. So there you have it, back in action.